Okay guys, uh, today what I want to do is uh, I'm going to insulate the windows and I put, first of all, uh, this is just single pane windows. It's got some, uh, it's got a, actually got a window film on the glass itself, but uh, I'm not going to really talk about that too much, but uh, it does have a window film on it. And uh, what I've done is I've put some uh, little pieces of wood on. I've just tacked it in with some nails and caulked the corners so that it'll make an airtight seal. And I'm going to add some window film to it. So uh, the really cool thing about it, let me show you this. The really cool thing about it is, is uh, I'm on Colorado Energy dot org that's where I'm at right now and if you're looking under their R values uh, then you can see that uh, they're giving you the R values of everything on here you've got your single window pane glass you got it with a storm and then they're listing the double insulated glass from 3 16 all the way up to 3 quarters your low E and then now you're going to suspended film this is two films then they're going to triple pane windows so if I don't know if I can get all this on there or not but this is uh, I'm just gonna point this out this is single pane glass this is with a storm window this is double insulated glass with a 3 16th gap this is a quarter inch gap half inch gap two and three eighths inch, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, three quarter inch gap. And now we're getting in, this is low E. And this is a suspended film. Okay. And then this is two suspended films. This is a uh, film with low E. This is triple insulated glass with a quarter inch gap. And that's triple insulated glass with a half inch gap. So what you're seeing here is actually the suspended film is better than even uh, the film with a three-quarter inch, I mean with double insulated glass with with uh, a three-quarter inch gap. So it's pretty good stuff and it's cheap. Right. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm adding my uh, my tape strip and I've got, I've still, I've already put it on here, so I've got to pull the uh, outside liner next. And I've done this, done it over there, so I'll just take like a razor blade and get up underneath there. And, uh, and then that way I can pull the film or the paper off the top of it maybe all right so there's one of them all right so you're just going to do that all the way around okay here's what i'm using uh this is a pack of three sheets 62 by 42 and uh they just come in little packages like this and it comes with the tape and everything you need so i'm going to go ahead and uh let my friend um uh, hold that for me and I'm just going to get this started. Um, I'm wider than I am. I mean, I'm uh, taller than I am wide, so I'm going to get it started up in the top corner. Okay. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and adhere that top edge all the way across. And I'm going to go ahead and do this this edge and then that way I don't have to do a lot of cutting and everything on one side I just have to do it on the other side so I just don't want to have a lot of um, cre creases and stuff like that in my work and 
Uh, you can get it out, but it sure makes it a lot easier if you don't have all that going on. This is a shrink wrap material, so uh, if you do get a crease in it, you can generally, as long as it's not a real bad one, you can get it out. But uh, you just got to be careful with the heat gun or the uh, the hair dryer. Don't use a, don't use a heat gun; you'll wind up met, uh, melting it. So I've got a couple of small creases right there. We'll just see uh, how this works, and it, you know we'll know if we don't, if it doesn't work out well, we'll know to do a little better. All right, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get the. Okay, so I've got the film attached pretty good, and now I'm just gonna try to get out the wrinkles. So, it's going to get a little bit noisy. I'm going to start right here where we had a, a little problem area and see what it, how it does. The only downside to doing this is, you know, we're pretty much, you got to tear it off to get the window open. But I don't know about you, but if you're using air conditioning in your house, then you're probably not opening your windows, especially some of them. I don't even like these uh, in the living room. I'd probably never open anyway. So uh, I had this stuff on here, and then I decided to do that window film to help reduce the, the light coming in uh, and also the uh, this window film has a reflectance to it it's made by a company called Gia and it's sold at the Home Depot and uh, the only thing I can say about that is, is you just need to have a really really clean piece of glass when you do it, otherwise your job is going to look pretty rough. And uh, I pulled this window film off when I did the, did the uh, or I pulled the shrink wrap off. And it does have some little lines in it not a huge deal. And I'll talk about that uh, the Gia window film a little bit more in a minute once I get the box. Alright, so that's, that's one of them down. And that didn't take too long. So that's how to do it. And you see, even where I had the problem, it really doesn't show up on the actual um, opening. So there you go. And it's pretty good. Uh, it's a pretty good cheap way to do it. Okay, I uh, went ahead and did this side. Now what I'm going to do, I don't even know if you can see this film or not, probably not, but I'm just going to cut this film off, and we're just going to go all the way down, and come across the bottom. And what I like to do, 
is when I get done uh, getting it all trimmed up, I, I caulk it because sometimes the, the tape, especially if you've got a pretty good size window, it lets go. And it, it's a good idea to caulk it up because uh, that, that way the, after the caulk dries, it's going to hold it nice and tight. And if the thing, sometimes cold weather will cause these things to loosen up and they'll get wrinkly and all you got to do if it does that is uh, redo it with a hair dryer and uh, that will cause it to shrink a little bit. This actually had a little bad spot in the plastic, so but it's not a big deal. Anyway, uh, that's about it. Uh, last thing is the window film. So let me just show you a little bit. Okay, this is the product that I got. It's called Gia. That's how I pronounce it. And it is a... Uh, let me get to something I can read. Okay, here we go. It's uh, This is actually a product it's called Titanium. They is what, they, what they're referring to it as. It's supposed to save cooling costs up to 50%. It has the best energy savings and uh, apparently what they're saying and it rejects 72% of the sun's heat. So I mainly bought this for my air conditioning bill. Uh, it rejects 95% of UV rays. It covers three windows and it's uh, 3 by 15 feet. And this is not real cheap. This stuff, if I remember right, I'm just doing this from memory. I think it was about $35 um, and uh, so but anyway uh, it, it's like I say it's good it's good stuff and I'll show you what the outside looks like okay so basically if you're at an angle and you're uh, which the Sun would be at an angle uh, it's like a mirror so it reflects the Sun and then if you're straight on with the glass, it's, uh, uh, it's clear. So it, it's, uh, it's pretty cool stuff. I like it. And uh, the color at night, it kind of makes the glass look a little greener. So I don't know. It's just uh, I like the product. And uh, the only thing, you got to really have a clean window when you do it. Other than that, it's good stuff.